Hello, this is Travis White with New Blue, and I'm here to show you the second installment of New Blue Titler Pro Basics inside Avid Media Composer. We've been looking at some of the fundamentals that you can do that historically you've probably done with the Avid Title tool, and we're going to show you how to do those same things and more. So next thing we want to do is simply edit the title that we've been working on. So let's select it down here in the timeline, and let's go into our effect editor and click Launch User Interface. This is going to bring up New Blue Titler Pro, and we'll continue working from here. So let's talk about letting and kerning. Now, the uh, paragraph, as we're talking about, has this green bounding around it. If you don't select anything, you can do your letting and kerning to the entire paragraph. In fact, you can dial it up, as well as the uh, letting, which is the spacing between lines, you can dial it down or dial it up as well. You can also put in different values that you want, such as a value of 8. So uh, those are all on the paragraph. Now, if you want to do a subselection of characters, you can. In fact, let's do that subselection right now. And let's reduce the kerning just by a little bit. And if we had another line here, let's do that. If you did a selection of only one of these lines and you worked with the letting, you can see how that's operating right there. Let's just go back to one and ditch this gobbledygook at the end of my paragraph. OK. So another thing you can do to change the size or the layout, which is not available <laughs> elsewhere, is you can do a subselection just like we did, but then you can also resize and reposition any subselection you want. In fact, I could go to down here and move that to the center, maybe tilt it a little bit, bring it over here, and click off of those letters again, so I get back to the green paragraph, and now we have a whole paragraph that each character has been manipulated separately. In fact, I could go to K, maybe rotate that a bit, the P, rotate that a bit, and you can ER together, rotate those, and you can see what you can really develop in a very easy and very fast amount of time. So now let's deal with copy and paste and multiple paragraphs. Right now we have everything in one paragraph. Let's get it in multiple. Let me, let me back off these uh, crazy orientations that I did, and we are going to do multiple paragraphs. All I need to do is simply get my cursor, or get this paragraph selected, and now I can control copy or right click copy. And now I, if I paste it, I would paste right into the same paragraph I have because it's selected. So I want to get off of that paragraph not have anything selected, and right-click and paste. Now I have a second paragraph. In fact, we can go ahead and drag that off right there, and you'll see what's going on. So with this uh, second copy, I'm just going to get rid of this first line. Hit Delete here. And uh, for this one right here, there we go. So we have the Keplers, and we have Down as two distinct paragraphs. So let's start treating these differently. So the first thing we want to do is highlight the Keplers, and let's change a font, for example. So we can go into all the fonts that we have installed on our system, such as maybe uh, Bauhaus. <laughs> uh, or we can actually use our up and down arrows to start jumping through all these different uh, characters that we want here. How about that one, the Keplers? All right, so what we have here is one style layer, one shadow. What we want to do now is add a different kind of style layer. So let's go into the 3D category, and let's do an outline. So we've put an outline in. It's a bit red. Let's change uh, the colors a little bit. Let's go to a gradient. We've done this before. Dial that down a little bit. Get them in a category of taste. There we go. And what we can do here now is we can bring up the thickness. Also, if we look right here, we have a sharp edge. We can also bring in a roundness to the whole thing, so it can round off there. Let's dial this down and click this XYZ handle, which gives us a bowling ball in which we can grab it at the uh, South Pole or somewhere around the North Pole, or right at the equator, and start really turning this. And now you're going to see, when I do extrusion, 
what's happening. So there you go. We don't want a lot of extrusion though. Let's do, let's do something like one. There you go. So there's the Keplers. One thing we want to do is go to this other paragraph. Now notice where this other paragraph is. We actually created that when we had our playhead at this point. Let me zoom out of the timeline so you can see the full 10 seconds. We don't want it to end at that point. Let's slide the mark in of down something a little earlier. So I have the Keplers and then down pops in right there. Well, what are we going to do with down? Well, let's give it a rotation that's similar to the other guy. So click that XYZ handle move it in space like that and now we have the Kepler's down. That looks pretty good. At this point let's go into how to get these things to come in and go out. So let's go to the library and that's where you're gonna find animations. Let's go to our animation category in the transitions group so you can see styles. In fact we could hover over a style right here and see what down is doing. It's taking on these different styles but we're gonna go into transitions, animations and let's do something like dropping words. Now, when I hover over a preset, you're going to see instantly what's happening to that word. I could be dropping letters, falling wave, but I like that first one, airbed. Let's use that. And I can drag and drop, or I can double click to apply it to the timeline. And now it has, if we go ahead and play this, down coming in. I like that. What about the Keplers? Well, let's do something different with those. Let's select the Keplers. You could have done it in the timeline as well. Let's go to the library. and Let's go into a category called Fly-In. So I could hover over a uh, transition there and see what that Fly-In is going to look like. Fast Write Words. Yeah, let's start with that. Let's drag and drop and apply Fast Write Words. So if I select that, notice that we're in the Transitions category now. I've got this Fly-In Fast Write Words. Now let's say I don't want these two to come in you know, so far apart. Well, that is what's called the overlap control. So if I reduce the overlap to something maybe closer to 90, now I have the and Kepler's coming in right together. In fact, let's shorten that down to a one second animation. The Kepler's. And down comes dropping down into the scene. So now we have two different transitions. In fact, you can you know, drag their own duration down here on the timeline that are operating our two different paragraphs. So there you go. You actually have an interesting title. It's oriented in 3D space. It's got some drop shadow. It's got some extrusion. It's got nice different fonts and characters, letting and kerning going on, as well as animation bringing both paragraphs in at a different time. All we have to do is simply click the X to close this down. In our next basics tutorial, we're going to look at what it means to bring in shapes as well as some additional effects. This is Travis White. Thanks for watching.